Okay, so good morning, class. Good morning. So please pick up the pieces of your paper and your chairs. Arrange it properly and please take your seats. So our secretary, our different classes for today. No one is passing Okay, before we proceed to our activity, let me ask you, ready to go? So, the more that we speak, yung pinatawag natin na this na to, 
yung gravitation na po natin is lumalakas. And then, kinokolect niya ngayon yung lahat ng mga particles na makikita natin in our solar system. Including dito, yung mga gas and gas. Then, kapag makolect niya rin na ito, dito na magsisila, magsisipula na magkakala ng formation ng structure ng ating pinagawal na protostar. So, ang protostar na ito, kapag naging hot enough na siya para mag-form na siya into a star, magkakaroon na tayo dito ng bipolar flow na tinatabas. So, makikita lang na natin itong bipolar flow na ito after a million years ago. Kapag ka, yung pinatawag natin ng protostar is dating na siya para mag-turn into star. Okay, so, the life cycle of stars, parang patterns based on the emission mass. So, most things na parang mag-starts natin sa mass of mabase. So, this includes the intermediate mass of stars that are more than eight solar masses and low masses. So, a star is that and a solar mass in size. So, the greater the mass, the one and the shorter is in size. So, so, according to NASA, objects smaller than a tenth of solar mass do not have enough gravitational pull to ignite nuclear fusion. Some might become field stars known as ground groundworks. Okay. Nasaan pa kayo na ang sun natin is also a star? Yes, exactly. Ang sun natin ang tawag natin ay isa din siyang star. So, ang star, ang sun natin is nagpon siya about 4.5 million years ago in a Milky Way's galaxy is Orion Square. So, nagagata lang siya or nagawork yung sun natin during the nebular, during the solar nebula na nakala, and then uh, during the formation nito, yung matter is nagokondens siya para magform mag siya ng ball-like gas na tinatawag natin na sun. So, meron parang karistics ang sun. So, itong parang karistics ng sun natin, then yung magiging para makonsider natin yung sun natin at ang heart of our solar system. So, first, the fire nature of so, aware naman tayo ng ang sun is nagbibigay siya ng energy sa atin, of course. So, ang mga energy is pinuport niya into, like, into light radiation, electricity, and solar wind. So, ang yung lahat na nagbibig ko na yun, yun yung naranagdaman natin in our earth. So, the next one is, Thank you. 
na hindi nababago ang kanyang location. And it is called as Polaris, which is makikita siya in North Pole. In North, North Pole. So, in Northern Hemisphere, ma-identify natin na naka-position naka tayo in Northern Pole kapag nakita natin yung course na major or yung Great Bear Constellations. So, kapag naman in Southern Hemisphere, makikita natin yung tinatawag natin na Crax Constellations or ito yung mga constellations na Sobrang, sobrang malilit. So, there are, so there are constellations na makikita natin in Southern Hemisphere. So, first is the Andromeda. So, in Andromeda, uh, it is located in the northern sky between Castapeus, Artemisium, and the great square of Pegasus. Andromeda has the stars brighter than Magnitude 3.3 3 point and star and three stars are located within the within the ten uh, parses that of that can be seen in our earth and the and it is the brightest star in the constellations. So kapag nakita so ang um, Andromeda madali to siya ma identify kasi uh, shadow halos yung um, one of the brightest constellations na makikita natin in our night. So, the other one is the Aquarius. So, Aquarius is one of our, one of our uh, zodiac signs. So, ang Aquarius kasi, it is the 10th largest constellations in our sky according to the astronomy. So, but there are no particular bright stars in the constellations and it can, it can be difficult to view it by the naked eye. So, even so, about 980 square and degrees, it takes up more than 2 percent of the night sky that it can be uh, it can be visible. So the other one is the Orion's constellations. So in so in Orion's constellations, it is located mostly in our celestial equator, and it can be seen from the world. So sabi nga nila kapag napatira ka into equatorial locations, um, parang napaka-ganda kasi nakikita mo mostly lahat ng constellations in our night sky. So, this Orion's constellations is named after the hunter in Greek mythology is one of the most obvious and recognizable constellations in our sky. So, two of the ten brightest stars in our skies are located in Orion. Uh, constellations and these are the Rigel and Bethel Gs according to the Stargazing website Astronomy Trek. Okay, thank you, Mom. So, now, it's your third class. It's your third class. Can, can anyone give me some constellations in the sky? Anyone? Oh, you can freeze. Can you give some other constellations? Okay, so what are the characteristics of a star? Okay, so, um, Mr. Gattaro. Color, sizes, and medium. Okay, so, enumerate the colors of the star. Mr. Galina. Red, yellow, and white. Okay, so how about the sizes of the stars? Okay, Mr. Lopez. Super giant. Giant. Okay, so since you learned that today, get a piece of paper and we will go to give you a quiz.
One eternity later, eventually. Okay, for the last question, number 15. Which constellation is best known because it contains the big deeper, which looks like a ladder? A or C major, B or C minor, C or D or D polar. Okay. So finish or not finish, please pass your paper in front and take a picture of your assignment that you are going to submit for our next.